I say Mario Kart, but it's more of like a mix between Mario Kart and like Wipeout Fusion and stuff like that. Either way, battle your rivals in a race for first place. X button to advance. Triangle button to use a shield. Circle button to attack. And the square button to use brakes. Pretty straightforward, all things considered. And this is a pretty straightforward course. Do your best to avoid the tornadoes. That's all I'm going to say. That's basically the only real issue that this whole course has. Apart from that, it's actually a pretty... Pretty damn easy course, all things considered. And there are multiple courses, don't worry. It's not like it's just going to be this with a few more challenges to it. Speaking of which, why are... We said we were going to be fighting the unversed on the track. Why is there only one unversed on the track? Because it's Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And then... Flipping Pete, and then just an un and then another unversed. Like what the heck? And speaking of which, where the hell is Pete? Like seriously, like I thought he was supposed to be like the best racer on the track, but no. I saw him at the start of the race, and then no point after that. Breaking is key when it comes to making turns in this, because the turns that any player makes are a little too wide for anybody's liking. Like, it's sort of like, without using the drifts in Mario Kart, it's pretty darn difficult with to turn without using the brakes. So when Peppy says, use the brakes, use the brakes. And yes, I know I answered my I answered my own question by playing Star Fox 64 again. If Peppy had a uh, had a quote for doing a uh, for there are enemies behind you, do a loop in the original game, but it's no, it's just try a somersault, do a barrel roll, and all them shenanigans. Like seriously, where the hell is Pete? Actually, believe it or not, the more I think about it. The more, the more I feel like this has a lot more in common with uh, Diapies of Thunder in Rugrat Studio Tour than Mario Kart, because the AI, once you get a pretty substantial lead, the AI won't beat you. They, it's there's not like a lot of serious rubber band mechanics with this game. We used to call it slingshot mechanics, cause I was a dumbass. But it doesn't matter, because this dumbass just won the race. I am the best. And Pete finished in dead last. So much for being the great racer, Captain Dark. Oh, my cart must have sprung a spring. You yahoos just wait. Next time, I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete! Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most accepted. Didn't they rip this off of a Disney World campaign? And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award yeah, they did. I remember this now. I remember Disney ran a campaign where if you well, where if you put I in enough uh, for if you put in enough hours for uh, a community party. service or Hip helping out the needy, Kara. they would give you a free day's ticket to Disney World or Disneyland. And I think it ended up lasting only like 24 hours because like thousands of people signed up for it, if I'm not mistaken. All this time. Yeah, it's the Million Dreams Award, I think it was. Into the darkness. Or something along those lines. That doesn't mean I have. Terror, we don't care about your whole dilemma right now. We all know what's going to happen to you. Whatever. 
But no, I do remember that. Like, I wanted to sign up for it, but it was only for... I think it was only for sit residents of Florida. So then it was like, oh, darn. And then the Ooh, minute everyone was like, oh, well, you can sign up for it. Nope. They immediately pulled it off because I think they ended up give, having to give out like a thousand tickets. It was like friggin' crazy. Wow, I got so much business at the shop. Haiti will be number one. Wow, Uncle Scrooge sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised too. Hello, everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our dream festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe-in. Oh, how very exciting. This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. Hey, how come I'm third? I call shenanigans. Are they here now? What do you mean? <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. <laughs> Better try the other one. What's the, the point of the disguises breaker. when Captain we all know Dark. it's just you, Pete? You freaking tool. Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Guards! Yeah, so because Pete decided he didn't care about people voting for him to be a nice citizen. He gets Wait, banished <laughs> between space and time. Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Oh. Bye, Pete. No one will miss you. You know, until you end up in Maleficent's With hands. Winners, then Who knows how long that's going to be. Tara, please come up and join me on the stage. Oh, dear. It looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. Why are you upset? Did we forget that Aqua was a was a peeping Tom and was spying on everybody? Here at the Dream Festival. So now I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! I wonder how the voting went. How the heck we got a possible tie for a vote? Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! Eat the damn ice! Thank you, Tara! Jesus! Staring at the ice cream for like, prolonged what do you seconds. Mmm, this is fantastic. Yay! We all win! <laughs> and Pete loses! Who does she think she is to be in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quite simple. 
You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here, and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. How quick Pete is to give up his freedom just to serve as Maleficent's friggin' every world in existence. Footrest. But that's why Pete's not the smartest person in the world, or the sharpest tool in the shed. And yeah, Disney Town's done. Technically speaking. You only had to do the one in order to unlock the command board and all these shenanigans, but... As you can see, the, the Dream Festival is so many things for us to do! And I want to complete Rumble Racing, because you do get a pretty nifty prize for completing Rumble Racing that a lot of people don't know about. Because most people will just do the one race and be like, eh, it's okay, I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, heart yeah, I'm almost said heartless again. Unversed, I am not here for you. I am here to do some rumble racing. That's why this, <laughs> that's why I'm pretty sure this one episode of Kingdom Hearts is gonna have a Mario Kart theme at the beginning. Now, this, this course is a little different, as you can tell. Instead of just doing the regular loop, the regular loop around the area, now we actually have to drive through town. And knowing short, and knowing shortcuts and speed boosts is key for this one. And it is good that at least we all know that it's con it, the continuity is restored. And Pete is not here. Pete is still. Learning the po how to polish Maleficent's scepter. Yeah, if you're hoping for a payoff for Maleficent being a super Omega Supreme villain in this game, yeah, it doesn't happen. After this whole after whole recruiting Pete to her cause thing, she doesn't appear again. You may have been hoping for it, but it ain't gonna happen. Whenever I play a racing game in one of these games, I, I miss playing Mario Kart on the regular. Because I used to play Mario Kart so much. But unfortunately, it's like I said, I've, I really don't have that much time to uh, play games for fun anymore. Well, that's what you get when you LP, unfortunately. You have to give up the time that you once had that could play any game you felt like playing. And you're committed to game one game one or two games at a time now. Bring it. I would have had more time to flip and play Mario Kart if my external hard drive didn't die. And yes, I'm still salty about that. I'm not going to give up the fact that I now have to play through. Technically speaking, one, two, three, four entire games all over again. I'm not gonna count Pokemon Shield and the Stick of Truth because I had like I was only like a third of the way into both games, so I won't say like it's the end of the world if I have to re-record those. But ugh, I was done with Birth by Sleep, well for the most part. There's a, there's there's a secret boss fight at the end of this game that made me that made me cry. So I, I'm pretty sure I didn't really finish that one. But nevertheless, now that we're going to be doing things more consistently with Terra fighting all the secret bosses, it'll be a little bit easier because we can cheat half of them with Terra. I don't know why, but we can, and it's fun. But, um, yeah, like, Ripto's Rage, Yoshi's Island, those, those ones are the easy ones to, to have to redo. 
Pokemon Coliseum is a is going to be a nightmare to have to redo. So I'm honestly considering just shelving co the Coliseum games for a little bit, like the GameCube Pokemon games for a little bit, so I can focus on doing like Pokemon Shield or something in case I really want to do a Pokemon game. Of course, then we're going to be jumping a lot of the round of places in terms of the. Uh, the boards that we have, the boards that we have available, or I mean, the the generations of the Pokemon games in general. I mean, we'll be jumping essentially from we just did we did Pokemon Black, so before Pokemon Black, ow, rudeness. So Pokemon Black was the last one we did, so that's Gen Five, and then we got to jump to. Gen 8, and then we're jumping all the way back to Gen 3 for the GameCube games. I wish I was a better controller of what, they, what things happen, but as you guys know, most of these things happen to me, and only me. Only I have the external hard drive failure. Only I have Velgato crapping itself during a recording session. But hey, you know what? As long as I have fun doing what I do, and I do have fun doing Entertaining you guys. Assuming you're all entertained. I have to assume those things, you know. It's not right to assume things, as we told Master Yen Sid, but still. I have to assume that I'm entertaining you guys, as my channel is finally starting to see some more traction and life in it, as I've noticed. And I appreciate you guys for that. 